What's happening, Chief Nation? Boy, big, big welcome back to my black universe. So, we have the Manny Suave or the Monty Suave. This is a beard. Yeah, oh, okay. Now, this is a beard guard, uh, similar to my, my beard guard, where it's uh, designed to protect your facial hair, keep all the oils and the bombs from the Oh, wow, this is a very nice quality. From getting all over your pillows, similar to a beard guard, but this has a completely different design. Which I'm noticing. So it's designed to go under your beard or under your chin per se and over your mustache. Um, so your mouth, you have the mouth cut out right here, which is sewn, which is that feels really nice actually. This is pretty good quality. This is only 12 bucks. It's very well stitched for the pricing. Polyester and and, this, and and last thing, cold machine wash. Do not tumble dry. We got the, the logo right here. Now the only thing I am worried about is this metal right here. Is that going to be comfortable? Because from what I see, it's supposed to. This is supposed to go across the back of your head, to, like the, where the crown is at. So that'll be the only thing that'll be kind of telltale. So I'm actually going to use this tonight and let you know what I think about it and give it an immediate review. Uh, a re uh, well, not a necessary review, but a uh, a quick review on how I, on what I feel about uh, the fitment of this. Does it feel good? Um, is it hard to adjust going to sleep? Because I actually I did something similar to this uh, with my beard guard. Where the beard guard was designed to go over your ears, it kept coming off, so I just kind of tied it in a way where it does straddle across where the crown is and holds on my head because I know I sleep bad. So that's pretty dope. And, um, I didn't expect this. My brother threw in a, a brush. I like the color. You know what I'm saying? Made suave. And that's. uh. That's ingrained to the wood. So that's in the wood. And this is curved. I like that. I like to look at that with the bristles. That's dope. That's real dope touch. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that 100%. <clears throat> and from, yeah, that's it. That's how it comes in. It's nice little packaging. It's nice little thick plastic. So this is really dope. Actually, for the cost, I'm surprised. You would think this would probably be, you know, at least 20, 25 bucks. But it's like, uh, I want to say it's like twelve ninety nine, And don't quote me on that, but I'll put the price. I'll put the link in the description below, man. We're going to put this to work. Check me out in the morning. All right, Duke Nation, it's the next morning, so this is what it looks like. <laughs> I like Muppet, Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> this is the mouthpiece opening. This is how it covers the beard. No, you won't get all your underbeard, but you get most of it. You can do like this, but um, this was sent to me. Shout out to the brother who sent this to me. Uh, it's all about hanging out. You guys know how I am. Uh, they reached out to me on Twitter, sent me one. I was like, well, if you send me one, I'm buy one. And I sent it to my brother now. He, he agrees. Dope quality. Uh, very, very, very nice quality. So I'm with him on this one. This opening right here. I, I wish this part was up a little more. Now I only have the little little sole patch right here. But he has a full on beard covering the uh right beneath his lower lip. So that being exposed he doesn't like. And also he doesn't like a matting down. But this, you know, that's kinda of part of uh the whole idea is kinda of match your beard down, keep all the the moisture and the, the products closed in tight to lock it in. And then, you know, when you wake up in the morning, then you gently, you know, pick it out. You're supposed to keep, you're supposed to keep everything in. But yeah, this is the only grab I, I have as well as it's too much space right here. But I feel like it can come up a little more. Now, I understand if I open my mouth and close it, you know, you want that room. 
But uh, yeah, that's it. Other than that, this is a quality piece. Uh, it's up there with the beard, the beard guard. As far as the, the feel and the design, this really should be a twenty twenty dollar twenty twenty five dollar piece right here. Uh, and maybe just maybe um, they decide to do a twenty five dollar piece, they could probably bring the chin area down. You see, they have a seam right here. Maybe they can open it up and then let it down for even larger beards. So I don't feel like it's all maddened up and then also coming out this way as well. So, you know, maybe change the mouth profile a little bit. But other than that, man, I, I, I like this. It's very comfortable. And, and these metal pieces, they don't rub. They're not. And I, I, I don't. I don't even metal metal. You know, I'm always stumping something to see what it is. This might just be a metal coating or, or a metallic light coating. But um, they don't rub. It's no um, discomfort. It's no discomfort whatsoever. So I rock with this. I think this is dope. Of course, we're going to use an old term and let you guys know um, what it's hidden for because it is time for a new beard kit. Since No Shave November is slowly, uh, or should I say quickly approaching. So you know I got some special for you coming by, uh, by way of uh, brother who's big on nature so let's give you a hint of what we're going to do but uh, stay tuned for that please like share comment subscribe until next time peace and blessings i say